Good afternoon to you, and I'm hoping I find you well uh, on this fine Monday afternoon, which happens to be the 5th of June and the year of our Lord 2016. Um, yeah, it's the start, um, it's the first week actually of uh, this second half of the year, and I'm hoping that you and your business, your family, and everybody else that's around you is doing well, Paul. How's it going, my man? Thank you so much for tuning in. And Mike, <laughs> how's it going for you? Thanks for tuning in. All right, so um, the name is Prosper, by the way, and uh, I'm the founder and CEO of Leave Long Digital. And if this is your first lunch and learn with us, I welcome you um, because every single day at uh, 2 p.m. AEST, which is Australian time, we come around here and we discuss topics that will help you market, scale, and grow your own online business. Paul, I see you're doing amazing. Thank you so much for tuning in. All right. And um, today, since, um, since morning, I've been working with a couple of clients. And one of them is actually a um, real estate agent that has been so stubborn about creating content around his business. And today... The revelations that I gave to him and he got an aha moment, I thought would be also good so that you get to know exactly why people are coming to the internet and why you should particularly pay attention to that. Okay, so it's one of those things that we might find it very overwhelming. I, I find it you know, too cumbersome myself to create any form of content. And I got lucky. I don't want to lie. I got a team behind me that is helping me with all the constant content. But if you're by yourself and you're trying to hustle creating, um, you know, your business and then hustle creating content as well and, you know, being consistent about it, there's a few things that will let you know that I'm going to talk about why it's essential for you to actually create that content so that you're not lazy and so you can find the time in your day to actually go in, sit down, create that video, write that blog, you know, take those couple of photos, etc., etc. The reason is, I want to ask you this question. Do you actually know why people come to the internet? Is that something that has ever crossed your mind? Why you're sitting there and you're Tumbling through your phone and you 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 scrolling, um, you know, to no avail. Do you actually know why other people would be coming to the internet as well? Just think about it. It's something that would then change your mindset and shift you towards really wanting to provide valuable content and content that will help you, like I say, generate leads, um, you know, for your business. All right. Listen to this. People are coming to the internet not to watch cat videos, not to watch baby photos, or etc. People are coming to the internet to get information. Now, if your business is also providing that information, guess what happens? They get to know, like, and trust you. And people, as far as I'm concerned, anywhere else in the world, they do business with those that they know, like, and trust. OK, eventually people might just end up, you know, watching, um, you know, videos from P P Psy. What's that guy's name? Psy or cat videos on YouTube or because they just want to chat with their friends. OK, and of course, you know, people are coming to the Internet, like I say, but statistics and, you know, Mark Zuckerberg already knows why he has to create this ecosystem that he has called Facebook. People are coming in for entertainment, information, and shopping, all right? So if you are providing any of these things, information, especially about your products, about who you are, about how you can help them, and about how you can solve their problems, then the whole know, like, and trust becomes a factor. So there's people like real estate agents, people like doctors, people like dentists that I work with, um, you know, people like, uh, who else do I work with? Lawyers. They feel like they have no need to be putting out content out there and they are laughing at me over the weekend. I'm like, Prosper, do you even rest? I mean, like every second I see a video of yours um, or a, a post or something like that and I go back to them and I'm like, listen, if you're out of your client's sight and if you're out of your client's mind, there's so much that is happening around them. You always have to be 
top of mind and they should know that you do have a solution that in any case they can trust you to be there all the time how many times have you seen people posting around um you know that copy and pasted um status update saying oh you know you guys like beyonce you like jay-z you never like any of my stuff the reason is you're not providing them anything to latch onto. You're not providing anything to share. You're not providing them anything to, 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 you know, be around you or to associate your brand and their life with. All right. So if you're not providing your customers client, I mean, um, content, what are they going to share about your stuff? How are they going to talk about you at that barbecue over the weekend? All right. You need to give people a reason to talk and the reason to talk we found it's become so simple to create content that they can share or that they can interpret how you're going to be able to serve them. Because all the time that we're going to be, um, you know, on the Internet, you know, look at me, look at me, you know, or something like this. You're providing value that they can then interpret in their own words how they are able to relate to your brand or how your brand can help them, all right? So, you know, there was a survey that they did and they found out that when people go to the, the internet, about 82% of them are actually going there to educate themselves. 92%, um, if I'm certain, they're there to connect with others or long-lost friends. And 89% is actually going there for research. Now, all of those things, they're researching what brands can help them solve whatever problem. Now, if your brand is not putting up stuff from there or putting up stuff within the ecosystem of what they're searching, how are they going to know you exist? How are you going to get leads? Maybe that's the reason why your business is actually not functioning right now, because you know what? You're not giving any value into the market. People get paid in direct proportion to the value that they're putting out in the market. All right. What would it mean to you in your business right now, Paul or Mark? What would it mean in your business right now if your clients knew exactly who you were, knew exactly what it is that you did? A lot of businesses, if you look before, um, I put a post up there and I said a lot of businesses, especially the small businesses, they're failing. You know why? Because nobody knows what you do. You know, because everybody's out there trying to, to belong to something, but you're not giving them a reason to. People are actually doing business with those that they know, like, and trust. So if you're providing information that actually helps them solve a problem, you know, that they're currently having right now, they'll really, really appreciate it. And then they'll start to actually like, know, um, you know, um, know, like, and trust you, which also increases chances of them actually buying your goods and services. You know, however, you should actually also realize that trust is something that takes a long time to build. You know what I mean? So you, you're going to go in there and educate them. You're going to go in there and engage them. And you want to build a good relationship with them, you know, at multiple stage of their, you know, their buying stage. Because nobody is just going to see your ad or nobody's just going to see your post. Or um, maybe you put out a book for people to grab. Oh, by the way, grab the blueprint. This is what it's all about. You know, you put out a book for people to grab. And then eventually you think people are just going to jump onto your next offer. No, it doesn't work like that. You know what I mean? So there's different stages in that buying cycle. So you want to make sure that in those particular stages, no matter what your service is, no matter what your business is, people need to see you at least six times in order for your brand to register within their periphery. All right. And all those things, instead of you introducing yourself every time to those people, you can just do it with content. That could be in the form of videos. That could be in the form of blogs. That could be in the form of, you know, live content like this. Anything that you can do to engage, to educate and actually build relationships with the people that are going to be paying you some money. All right. So I actually have a rule within my business and all the guys that work with me, they know this. You do not pitch unless you've provided enough value. All right, I'm going to repeat that again. You do not pitch until you've provided enough value. Otherwise, you're just annoying that customer. Otherwise, you're just be, being a nuisance to the people that, um, you know, being around your stuff. All those people that you see, that's the reason why I absolutely hate MLMs. 
You know why? Because they are intrusive and they just are not trained. They're just in it for themselves and not providing any value to anyone. And they do not even trust the things that they're selling. Do you know what I mean? So it's just one of those things. And um, if you're going to be actually providing value, teaching people exactly what your product does and how you're going to help them solve a particular problem. Guys, by doing this, you won't even have to explain yourself all the time. You won't even explain yourself what you do, why you're different any time that somebody comes in contact with your brand. Simran, how are you going? Hope you had a fantastic weekend. All right? So you, you automatically do not have to sell anymore. You are just solving problems. Jason, thanks for tuning in, buddy. Okay? I'm going to ask you a question. How much time would you actually save if you never have to explain yourself ever again. How much time? You know, because there's so much that you can do as a person. That's the reason why a lot of businesses are not scaling, especially yours. You know why? Because when you're not there, when you're sleeping, people are not reading your stuff. People are not watching your stuff. People are not commenting, sharing, and distributing that in content on the internet because you're not producing enough. All right, so you need to really figure out where you want your brand to go and how you really want to reach out to these people so that you don't have to explain yourself every single time. You know, when you start talking to people that already know, like, and trust you, converting them will be so much easier. You know, the reason why you probably are not really getting all those customers is because you are not giving value to them in order for them to get to know you. Angela, how's it going? Hope you had a fantastic weekend. You're right. So I'm really sure you would. it will really make a big difference to your marketing efforts and a big return of investment if people already know you before you even close them. You know? So you know, you, you want to be giving them immense value. You, you're educating them. You, you are, you know, reaching out to them in a way that they get to know, like, and trust you. And this is the part of the blueprint that we always consistently talk about, okay? When you get this content, make sure you're engaging them, you educate them and inspire them while providing them with value and positioning yourself as the person that will be able to solve their problems. Trish, look what I got. <laughs> Thank you so much. We're talking about um, six simple hacks that you can actually use to double your lead generation. And some of the things that you do, Trish, are the things that are also part of the content creation, you know, the graphic design that you do. And I'm just, you know, recapping what it is that people really need to do and be relentless about because people only do business with those that they know, like, and trust. Okay. So if you're putting out content out there and you know, you're helping people to actually understand what you're offering and get to know much about your product, it's easier for you to convert them. All right. So with that said, guys, it's, 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 it's a real simple um, thing. I'm now just going to tell you the six things that we're doing to actually, you know, make sure that this whole content marketing is, is helping us generate leads left, right, and center. Okay. First of all, there's so many types of ways that you can reach out to your customers. You could either write, you could either do videos, um, you could either um, do simple photos, you could either, yeah, there's so many ways that you can reach out to your, your customers so that you can provide value. All right. We just had a weekend. I want to Find out from you over the weekend, how much content did you produce so that you have something to do over the week? And I mean, to, 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 to post over the week. I don't think a lot of people would have produced any content over the weekend. Do you know what I mean? We, we, you can't say you don't have time because all these content pieces are a touch point that you're going to need so that your customers get to know, like, and trust you. So if you want any customers at any point within your business, you need to do what is called lead generation. But how are your customers going to know about you if you are not putting yourself out there? Now, if lead generation is actually the engine that drives your business, you know what I mean? Because you're going to need the money. You're going to need people to actually pay you to survive within the business. Content marketing is going to be the fuel that you're going to use to drive that engine. 
all right once you've got content out there guys it's gonna be easy for anyone to trace you from the stuff that you're putting out there if you're gonna want the online prosperity blueprint uh, book again just make sure you type in blueprint as we go along if you put content out there people will read at their own leisure you know what that does now you are being in their world and they are making the decision on their own to decide if they want to work with you or not. All right. Most of the times we are failing to get clients because we are not in their space enough. I'm not saying that you have to go in and become too clumsy within the noise or whatever. But what I'm saying is just produce enough stuff so that people will talk about you at a barbecue. You know, when people are at a barbecue on the weekend, they, I usually use that reference because every weekend I'm invited to some sort of a barbecue and I ask who else is going to be there? What influence do those people have and how am I going to contribute? If it's people that I don't really know or I don't really understand what they are going to do, I don't usually go there. But at barbecues, people talk about companies, people talk about what's working in their life casually. Now, if you've got a video or if you've got a picture that you just put up, people can just easily show each other online, I mean, at the barbecue and say, look at what this prosper guy is doing. Check him out. And that's easy advertising instead of you throwing a lot of money, um, you know, in your AdWords or in your Facebook and then start complaining that these things don't work. Leave it to the professionals. All right. So like I said, guys, if you're going to be doing any sort of lead generation, Content marketing has to be part of it no matter what. And you don't have to be lazy about it. Otherwise, don't be in business. Because people are going to need to know, like, and trust you. And the only way you can do it without having to, um, you know, finish up your voice, especially is by putting out content, videos, podcasts, all that stuff that people are consuming. All right? Good stuff. So, like I said, guys... Um, it's, it's real simple. We are creating content for our clients and it's that time of the year where we actually check to see if everything is working. And I'm here to proof positive to say if you're not putting out content out there, don't kid yourself and say you've got a business. Because if, if nobody is sharing your stuff or reading your stuff, no way are you going to be converting. You could put all the ads you want, but if the people come to your page and there's nothing for them to look at that's going to entice them to have an emotional feel to wanting to give you money it ain't going to happen all right so the power of content marketing guys has just made it a whole lot easier um you know to implement you know why because if you create certain content that remains evergreen people will continuously Keep reading them and it's relevant to them. You're providing value and they can leave their email address so that you can reach out to them a little bit later. Okay, so you then convert a lot more uh, leads into happy and satisfied customers. I don't want to lie to you guys. Nobody is sitting out there just waiting for you to put out your content. Nobody's going to be sitting out there waiting for you to put up an update or nobody's going to be waiting out and sitting out there for, for them to see your ad. People are actively searching behind the scenes. So you want to be there as well where these people are searching. All right. You see, while most of you, are, you know, probably understand the basics of, you know, using content marketing for lead generation. There's just a few simple hacks that you can implement to actually double your results, you know, almost overnight. And, and I'm just going to, you know, just read them out so that you guys can also have a, a look, see to see what it is um, that, that that really works. OK. You, you want to make sure that your content is not salesy, okay? It actually really goes deep because people are looking for information, all right? And they will only trust you if you're actually providing that information. So the first thing you really got to do is, is one of the simplest, you know, for, for, for SEO or branding purposes, long form content is usually always better, all right? So <clears throat> when you write, um, you know, longer or in-depth uh, content it enables you to actually provide more value to your customers and show more detailed message more than the other person is a lot of people are just putting out mediocre stuff out there and as a added bonus if you put in longer form content you know what happens google absolutely loves this all right you should treat google as a librarian so if somebody goes to the library they're looking for a book 
on finance or they're looking for um, a book on uh, what, what else is there about water bottles make sure that your content is there or your your page is the one that Google offers to the people there all right so you know nearly every uh, marketing as um, expert that I know on average says once you start writing content Google favors your website it's fresh and it actually helps with your SEO so it's not only are you helping people find you, but also Google is going to help you. Um, I mean, people find your work. And what does that lead to? People are going to leave you with their email address if you put it um, uh, correctly. And people are going to leave you with their details so that you can contact them. All right. But also, this doesn't just mean that you should just create, you know, you know, content that people don't really like, you know, maybe uh, long blog posts that are just riddled with keywords. That's not the way you do it. Okay. Another thing that a lot of people are not doing is creating lead magnets that are actually congruent to the piece of content that you're putting out there. You know, have you ever been sort of surfing the web and then you read an article about say, um, you know, SEO or how to, how to, how to, you know, get the right, uh, ad, you know, format or something like that for your ads. And then all of a sudden you get a pop up, you know, of somebody talking about, you know, fitness and it's not even relevant to what you're reading. Would you just click that pop up and go straight to that? Of course not. You want to make sure that, you know, the lead magnets that you're putting on that content are also relevant to what you're putting out there. All right. And, um, at the end of the day, you want to link most of your stuff together. When you're writing blogs on YouTube or Jack, how's it going? When you're writing blogs on, um, on your blog, it gives you an opportunity to link, you know, congruent blogs so that people can continuously be in your ecosystem and be reading that stuff. And if you can't write guys like myself, or if you can't really speak good English, try and outsource that stuff. All right. On Fiverr, you can get it done for like five bucks. And if you're not making five bucks within your business, then I don't think you should be on this um, uh, podcast today or on this uh, video. All right. Because at the end of the day, if you can't make five dollars, something is not working. Your shit is broken within your business. All right. So if you can't really fix that then go back, see if what you're actually offering is something you're passionate about. Because if you're not passionate about it, there's no way you will do more for it. All right. So it's, it's just one of those things, guys. People are coming to the Internet to get information. And at the end of the day, after they've gotten that information, they need to experience you at least six times. The reason why I'm saying this is scientifically proven, and that's the reason why Coca-Cola, McDonald's, and all the other companies are advertising to you at least six times a day so that you buy one Coca-Cola or you buy one Big Mac. So you want to use multi-touch content in your marketing campaigns. One other thing that I've also noticed that is happening, the reason why people are getting frustrated and tired is because Facebook has made it difficult for you to reach people and the only way you're reaching people is through your your private profile, right? Which is what I'm doing as well. But you are not reaching out now to the people that are your potential clients. Your private profile is your ex-boyfriend, your ex-girlfriend, your mother, your father, your sister, your brother, your uncle, etc., etc. Okay? And then that's the reason why you're getting frustrated and tired because the people that are within your Facebook ecosystem are people that would never buy from you, period. You want to start branching out. You've got up to 5,000 people that you can reach out to. So that's the other thing again. Once you really put yourself out there and say, I'm going to be this business person, make it your business to reach out to your customers. What does Jack say? Uh, got to go on a few dates before you ask for the marriage. Of course, Jake, that's absolutely right. You know, just because somebody swipes right, you can't just automatically Netflix and chill with them, you know. You got to give them a few touch points so that they are, you know, going in, I mean, getting to know, like, and trust you. And people only do business with those that they know, like, and trust. Okay? All right. Uh, <laughs> and Trish, you need to organize 
um, you know, the group date where we are all going to go out for a drink. Because now that we know, like, and trust each other, it's going to be fun. All right. So you want to create those um, multi touch points and also make it easy for people to share your content. All right. So um, put one call to action, guys. Just one single call to action. Don't tell people, um, I want you to like, comment, and share, and then tag three people, and then invite your aunt, and then invite your dad, your mother, your father, and then share this, and then put it on your page. People get confused. Make sure when you want your content to be put out there, just give one call to action. Everybody is already lazy, right, as it is, so you just want to make sure you've got one call to action and one call to action that we're putting out there right now is comment blueprint so that you can get a series of how you can actually put out content that is engaging so that you can ed educate the clients of what exactly you're putting out there the reason why a lot of businesses are failing is because people don't actually know what you do all right and everybody else there is depressed i don't want to talk about the worst things you never find anything depressing on my page a few things might sneak in but you never find anything that is not positive at all you know why because outside there people have already got fatigue it's it's sad you want to create your profile to be that little heaven where people find a bit of a breather Okay, so the internet is trying to kill them. Everybody is trying to murder their daughters. Every try, everyone is just trying to bomb them. But when they come to your little sanctuary, you want to make sure that you're inspiring them and you're giving them trust in, 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 in humanity again. All right. So that's what content is also going to be. That would make you stand out and be so different and so way ahead above everybody else in your niche. Because some people, um, they are reactionary. When something happens, they want to be a part of it. When something happens, they want to put their two cents in it. But they're adding to the negativity. All right? So you want to create your environment to be the safest haven that even if nobody has anything to do on Facebook, they just go onto your profile and just scroll for no apparent reason. You know why? Because you made them feel that way. All right. And if you can evoke such emotion in, in, in people, then if you do put up a post wanting them to buy something off of you, most of them will make a purchase. All right. It's that simple. So here's what I do, guys. I, I sincerely just reach out to people. I've, um, I've given up on, you know, having a really private profile. You know what? Because the more I want to keep it private, the more my daughter is not going to go to college and I'm not going to look at that. Just because I wanted to keep my ego in place, all right? And then second of all, I'm reaching out to the people that I think I can help. Who am I to stop myself from helping other people reach their dreams, all right? So I'm putting out my content so that that content will help somebody at least have a business that's profitable and enjoyable, all right? So that's pretty much what it is. And also doing my own fair share of making this world a better place by creating the most positive profile I think there is or there could be that you can come to on, um, on, on, on Facebook and then feel like you, you belong somewhere. Because I know there's a lot of depression out there. There's a lot of anxiety. People are just being raped and bombarded with endless gunk on the internet. So I really want to make it safe. So should you make your profile a safe environment so that your clients will always just come and hide in there just to get a breath of fresh air. All right. So make it easy for people to share your stuff. Make it easy for people to relate to what you're doing. Create and relate to the people that you're working for. Remember, these people are going to be voting for your existence with their wallets. So you really got to give them stuff that is going to make them want to hang around for more. So you want to include, you know, share buttons in your emails and on, on all the stuff that you put out there. You know, if you took my advice from step one and you're creating killer content or long form content, you know, members that are in your friend list, members that are following you, your Instagram people, they will naturally want to share this content. 
All right. Now you don't even need to even, um, you know, in, in, incite them to want to because you know why they're feeling good about it. So naturally they want to reciprocate by showing other people that guys, look what I found. There's so much nice stuff out there. The world is not out there to get you. So, you know, to take advantage of this, you just want to make sure that the process is as seamless and as pain free as possible. You know what I mean? Include share buttons in all of your emails and at the end of each piece of content that you write, just one call to action. And before you know it, guys, this will actually simplify the sharing process and it will radically increase your odds of actually just generating social hype of your brand and your content. And the more people are sharing it, the more you, 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 you really are pumped to want to create more and it just makes it really worth your time. All right. So guys, I don't want to lie to you. I know I'm supposed to be on for 30 minutes, but I'm taking up a bit of time. Content marketing is just one of the greatest weapons in your lead um, generation arsenal, guys. And don't ever forget it. And if you equip it with what I've just said, guys, you are well on your way to becoming a lead generation ninja in no time. People are coming to the Internet to get information. Let them find that information from you. OK, so while what I've just talked about is relatively simple to implement, they actually require a bit of time to test what actually works with regards to your own business, you know, before you go full throttle on them. All right. I don't want to I don't have that much money to sit, um, you know, in the court of law saying Prosper said I should do this and then it doesn't work. So just go in and implement what works for you today and get ready to start reaping the rewards and let me know what you have done or if I can help. And in the meantime, if you haven't, guys, grab yourself a copy of the blueprint where you get to capture the right kind of people, send them the right kind of content and you can convert them. All right. It's easier. You're no longer solving. You're no longer selling to them. You're just solving their problems. You know why? Because you've engaged them already with your content. All right. And then all you're just doing is connecting with them and proving your authority so that people will continue wanting to do business with you. So just type in blueprint and I'll send you through a copy of this and I'll throw in this as well, explaining what the blueprint does. Type in blueprint right now. Type blueprint. Blueprint. Good stuff. All right. In the meantime, guys, enjoy the rest of the week. It's going to be a fun one as the beginning of the second half of the year. So I hope you've got a lot of stuff planned. I'm three minutes late for my next meeting. But you know what? I love you guys enough to just let you be. See you guys tomorrow and hope you enjoyed this one.